Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Now I'm starting a very important topic in operation research that is linear programming simplex method. In the previous videos, I have explained you what is linear programming and the problems on linear programming by graphical method. This I have already uploaded. So if you have not watched, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operation research select the videos of linear programming be perfect about the concept meaning and what is what are the features of linear programming all these things i have explained apart from the problems also i have solved by graphical method now second method simplex briefly i will explain linear programming is an optimization technique and this technique will be applied in order to find out the optimum solution of a given problem the problem consists of limited resources how to utilize the limited resources in order to attain a given objective when the resources have alternative uses so this situation will be solved by applying the linear programming simple example I can give you like uh, a production manager he is having resources like material, labor time, machine time, etc. These are the resources. By using these resources, he will produce the goods. Objective is to maximize the production by using these resources. And the resources are, are having alternative uses. So how to attain the objective of maximum production by utilizing limited resources? That, uh, that problem can be solved by linear programming another example suppose marketing manager the marketing manager is having limited funds so how to allocate this limited funds among different alternatives so that the objective maximizing the sales how to maximize the sales by using limited funds by giving different advertisement the advertisement can be given in newspaper in magazine in hoarding or in electronic media so different options are available how to allocate again linear programming will be very much helpful in that situation so two methods are there for solving the linear programming one method is graphical method and second method is simplex method the graphical method is a simple method that method can be applied when we have only two decision variables if two decision variables are there easily we can apply graphical method to find out the optimum solution of linear programming but when the, the number of decision variables are three or more we cannot apply graphical method we have to apply simplex method actually the name should be complex method don't think that simplex method means it would be very simple no it requires a lot of calculations a lot of complexities are there so before proceeding ahead uh, I I request you to take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board then I'll explain every point in detail Now, see here, this method, this simplex method was propounded by, developed by G.B. Danzig. This is the person who has propounded, who has developed this method of simplex method for solving the LPP. So, provides a key, general, very useful technique for solving all LPP. So, most of the linear programming problem can be solved easily by using this Danzig's method called simplex method. It offers a means of solving complicated programming problems see here simple programming problem is that we can use the graphical method but if the problem is complex method many I mean variables are there in that case it will be useful to apply this method the simplex method however is more complex than simple and involves somewhat complex mathematics see here the name simplex doesn't mean it is simple it is a little bit complex method. What is the complexity? The complexity requires some uh, mathematics. 
some advanced complex mathematics is involved. Mathematics doesn't mean the pure mathematics which uh, other students will study here. Simple mathematics of manipulation of numbers. How, how the numbers will be manipulated. That, I mean, uh, knowledge a student must have to solve the problem by simplex. The simplex method is a step-by-step -step procedure for finding out the optimal solution. In one step, we won't get the answer. It is a step-by-step -step procedure. One table we'll make, we'll check whether it is optimum or not. If it is not optimum, we make the second step, uh, table. Then in the second table, again, we find whether it is optimum or not. If it is not, then go to the third. Like this step-by-step -step procedure is there in this simplex method. Now, two characteristic features about simplex method are as follows. Main two features of simplex method. The first feature is in the simplex method, the computational routine is an iterative process. What do you mean by iterative process? Repetitive process. That means the step involved are repeating again and again. Same type of rules, same procedure will be repeated one after the other. That's why it is called an iterative process. To iterate means to repeat. Hence the working towards the optimum solution, the computational routine is repeated over and over again. Till we reach the optimum solution, we have to go on repeating the same procedure, same rules. Successive solutions are developed in systematic pattern until the best solution is obtained. Our objective is to reach the optimum solution. So till the optimum solution is reached, we have to go on repeating the procedure. Now secondly, and one more thing, successive solutions are developed in a systematic pattern until the best solution is reached. We want to reach the optimum or best solution. Now secondly, each new solution will yield a profit as large as the previous solution. As we go on repeating, the successive solution will, uh, will, be, will give more profit than the previous solution. That means the successive solution yield better solution than the previous solution. Then the, this important characteristics assures that we are always moving closer and closer to the optimum solution. So as we go on iterate, the successive solution will be very, very near to the optimum solution. That is about simplex method. Now for the solution of LPP, by simplex, the objective function and constraints are put in the form of standard mathematical model. Then these are presented in a table known as simplex table. First of all, for any linear programming problem, first it has to be formulated in a mathematical model. But for simplex method, we have to convert that mathematical model into standard simplex model. Standard simplex model means by removing the inequalities into equations. Actually, in the problem, the mathematical model will express the constraints in the form of inequalities, less than equal to or greater than equal to. That less than equal to and greater than equal to should be removed and make it equality. So that is the that is a standard form of, uh, I mean, LPP we have to make by using, uh, for using simplex method. Hence, following a set of procedure and rule, the optimal solution is obtained, making step-by-step -step improvement. So what we have to do, the first step, whatever problem is there, that problem we have to convert it into standard form by introducing slack variable, surplus variable and artificial variable. By using these three type of variables, we are converting the inequalities into equation. Once this is done, then we make the first solution that is called IBFS, Initial Basic Feasible Solution. That initial solution we solve, we'll make a table, simplex table, and find out the IBFS. If this solution is not optimum, then we'll make the second table. And of course, the first table itself will never be optimum. We have to make successive tables. <clears throat> Thus, it is an iterative procedure where each step leads closer and closer to optimum solution. Every step, one by one, when we do, we are going, we are proceeding towards the optimum solution. Now, 
This is done by removing one basic variable at one time from the solution and replacing it by another variable. How this uh, I mean, uh, procedure will be done? First IBFS, first two solution will make. In that solution, if it is not optimum, then what we'll do? We'll remove one variable and uh, include another variable. One basic variable we remove and one decision variable we include. Uh, in this way, the process is repeated till no further improvement in the solution is possible. We go on improve the solution. Once we reach the optimum solution, that is the end of the problem. We have reached the optimum solution. No further improvement is possible. Now, in this simplex method, three variables, three basic variables we have to introduce. These basic variables are slack variable, surplus variable and artificial variable. Briefly, I'll explain while doing the problem, you can understand when we have to introduce a slack variable, when surplus, when artificial. Briefly, I'll explain here. The slack variable is added to an inequality of equal to or less than type to change it into equality. Simple example I'll give you like this is the inequality 3x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 10. Suppose this is the inequality. But we have to remove the inequality and make it equation. So to remove this less than equal to type we have to add the slack variable. Let the slack variable be S1. So it will become 3x1 plus 2x2 plus S1 is equal to 10. I have converted the inequality into equation. So to remove this less than equal to we have to add the slack variable. So the slack variable is assumed to be non-negative quantity. It is a positive quantity. And it is a variable added to the left hand side of the less than equal to constraint to convert it into equality. So where it is to be added, it is added to the left hand side. This is the left hand side. So on left hand side, we have to add the slack variable. Remember this point because in the coming problem, I'm going to do this one. So whenever inequality is less than equal to type, add the slack variable. Next, surplus variable. Now, a surplus variable is included in an equality of equal to or more than type, greater than equal to, to change it into equality. Another example I'll give you. Suppose one more equation is 5x1 plus 6x2 is greater than or equal to 15. Suppose this is the inequality. Now we want to remove the inequality and make it equality or equation. So how to convert it? we have to subtract the surplus variable. So if it is greater than or equal to, we have to subtract. The equation will be 5x1 plus 6x2 minus S1. Minus S1. By deducting surplus variable, that inequality will be converted into equation. Right? Is equal to 15. But remember, one... Uh, a rule is there that slack variable, surplus variable should always be positive. Should always be positive. So here we are having minus S1, negative. So whenever we are deducting the surplus variable, at the same time we have to add the artificial variable. So minus S1 plus A1 is equal to 50. So whenever we subtract the surplus variable, at the same time we have to add the artificial variable. Why we have to add the artificial variable? Because the surplus variable cannot be negative. But it is negative here. To remove that negative, we have to add the artificial variable. So the surplus variable is assumed to be a non-negative quantity. It is a variable subtracted from the left hand side of the greater than or equal to to make it equal to. That's it. Now, last one is artificial variable. The artificial variable will be added whenever equality is there or greater than equal to sign is there. So, if in the problem, if equation is there, 3x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 11. Suppose, already equation is there. 
but for applying the simplex method we should not take directly equal to we have to add the artificial variable it will become 3x1 plus 2x2 plus a1 is equal to 11 we are adding the artificial variable if equation is given huh, also if it is greater than equal to so artificial variables are required in two situations one situation if the inequality is greater than or equal to second when equation is given in these two situations we have to add the artificial variable the need for artificial variable arises in case of equal to or more than type constant as the surplus variable does not satisfy the non-negativity condition the condition is the surplus slack variable should always be positive but here we are subtracting minus s1 so that condition is not satisfied to satisfy that condition we are adding artificial variable so this basic this beside a surplus variable and artificial variable will also be included in the inequality remember once the final solution is reached the artificial variable will be removed will not be there in the simplex table now the last topic in this video is regarding degeneracy in simplex uh, degeneracy in simplex method by solving lpp degeneracy situation will arise in some circumstances when what is degeneracy i'm going to explain but this will be given in theory also in examination what do you mean by degeneracy in lpp by some simplex method so a situation in the solution of lpp by simplex method where a tie occurs between two or more variables for leaving the variable in the simplex table after making simplex table we have to see which variable is entering and which variable is leaving that leaving variable there is a tie suppose the minimum value is 10 but 10 is occurring twice there is a tie for minimum variable for leaving that variable Whenever there is a tie, it is called degeneracy in simplex method. So, this uh, is known as degeneracy. This occurs when two or more rows have equal least non-negative value. In each row, we have to see what is the um, least non-negative value. If there is a tie in that least non-negative value, a degeneracy will occur. So the degeneracy may cause the simple exposure to cycle indefinitely. If we ignore this degeneracy, that means the cycle of this iteration will go indefinitely. We will not get the solution. It is repeated again and again. So to remove the degeneracy, what we have to do? A simple way to get over the situation is to go back to the iteration stage where the tie occurred and select some other variable as leaving variable and then proceed with the solution of the problem in the usual manner whenever there is a tie in the uh, I mean least value then select any other value than these tie values then go and proceed as usual or some authors have suggested that in case of that tie the row nearest to the top may be selected some other, other authors have given the technique how to resolve this degeneracy they say that whenever tie occurs, select that variable which is nearest to the top. Nearest to the top. And select that variable as a leaving variable if degeneracy occurs. This is only theoretical concept. In problem also it may come. Now, this is the end of this video. In this video, I have explained you what is simplex method. Inshallah, in the next video, we will start the problems of LPP by simplex method.